everyday device can you use to capture ideas and seeds for new stories? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. A common question I get is, Michael, what stories should I be talking about? You've heard me talk about this in previous videos. Talk about those subjects that you have an expertise in and that you have a passion for. Well, sometimes we're too close to our own stories and we may miss the obvious. Here's a great tip I got from my coaches. Look at your camera roll in your phone. As one of my coaches puts it, capture what captures you. There's a reason those pictures are on your camera. It's because it meant something to you. Here are four quick examples from my Google Photo Library. The first one is a picture I took in Arizona in 2016. These are some hieroglyphics, say that 10 times, hieroglyphics from a state park in southwestern Arizona. I was fascinated by the use of early men and women to use stones to capture their stories. These rocks are telling stories. The second picture comes from my favorite movie franchise, Star Wars. The picture comes from 2016. It sat in my photo library for three years, and I just recently pulled it out and included it in a storytelling webinar that I'm promoting. You don't know how long your pictures will sit there, just like some of your stories. You don't know how long they'll sit there until the time is right to share them. So don't discard pictures if you don't use them for six months. Create a library, let them sit there, and then you can go back from time to time. This is true with pictures, videos, various images. You don't know when a story or an idea will come to you where that picture will fit. The second picture is my little girl, Sky. She runs our household. You've heard me talk about her in other videos. This is a picture of her one night guarding her bone. She weighs seven pounds. She doesn't realize that at 200 pounds bigger than her, I could easily take the bone. Well, she runs away from me, so that's a whole other story. What can I do with this picture? I don't know. There's a seed of an idea in there. I'm just going to store it along with the other 6,312 pictures I have of her. And one day I'll maybe find a use for it. This last snapshot is from an experience I had in May 2019 where I got to drive a real Indianapolis-style race car by myself at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This was a 46-year dream come true. What will I do with this picture? I'm not sure yet. It's still too fresh. The excitement is still there. I'm working on different ideas. At some point, this picture will either be in a presentation or it will spark an idea for a story. There you have it. One of your best storytelling devices is your camera, a device you're using probably every day. If it's not on your camera roll on your phone, it's in your photo library online. That is a great source of stories that can have an impact on future audiences. Remember, if you took the picture, it somehow captured you. Capture the essence of that and leave an impact on others. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.